So um, today was my first full day in Vancouver. I didn't do very much besides walk around with my parents for a little bit. We just wanted to get a feel of the area we were staying at. And yeah, it was a really good time chatting with some locals and yeah, enjoying views of Vancouver. I don't particularly think this is the most gorgeous view, um, but it's not bad, it's quite nice. Over there especially looks really nice, so. trying on this Balenciaga jacket that's like two jackets attached together, if that makes any sense. And there's like an extra sleeve and like three goddamn layers. I'm so confused. You can like sweep the floors with this. Hey! It's a look, guys. <laughs> She went back to the hotel because she has zero interest in like high street shopping with me and I've just been high street shopping for the past hour. Popped into a couple stores and I'm just about to hit up Michael's which is a craft store and if anybody knows me they know I love a good craft store and I love a good craft store that has Halloween decoration. Sorry for this like weird lighting. I have my shutters because the light is a bit strong on me. But anyway, um, so I'm looking through this vlog and I'm realizing that it's just really choppy and I haven't really explained what's going on. There is a clip of me trying to explain, but I'm watching it and I'm so tired in it that I'm not really making sense. So in this clip, I was basically just touching down with you guys and kind of explaining what was going on. As I realized, I kind of jumped into the vlog, kind of sharing what we did, what, like walking around and stuff like that without really explaining why I was in Canada. Um, so basically, my parents or my dad is in Ca was in Canada for a summit for Lululemon and um, he invited my mom to join and I kind of invited myself. <laughs> I mean, they did invite me, but like, yeah, I jumped on that opportunity. I've never been to Canada, so while they're there, I might as well just spend some time with them, I thought. So I hopped over there and yeah. So actually I didn't touch down with you guys until like two days into my trip. So by the time this clip is rolling, I've already, I had already been in Canada for two days. So the first day we just walked around really nothing um, exciting because we were all jet lagged and yeah, we just walked around. Um, it was, it was a nice walk though. I really enjoyed that walk. And then I rolled a, like a two second clip of a dinner that I had with my dad and a bunch of his um, staff and some of his work friends. Um, yeah, we just had a nice dinner there. And then the second day is of me and my mom shopping. I did a really crappy job filming very much of that, but I think it was like just being nervous about vlogging inside a mall or anywhere. Plus, I wanna keep my mom's privacy as much as possible. She's like not interested in having a camera in her face. So I was just trying to like keep it on the down low. So I ended up just not bringing my camera out very much. Oh yeah, another thing that I was saying in that clip was the fact that I didn't want to share um, a room tour of the hotel that we were sta staying at, which was called Weston Bay. The reason being, we didn't actually book that hotel um, because we were there for a summit. The people who organized it booked the hotel for us. And honestly, I don't really recommend the hotel. I did not like it there. Um, I mean, it was a nice room, it's safe, that's fine, but I just personally wouldn't have uh, booked a hotel there, um, or a room there, sorry. Um, this is just my personal opinion. Um, I only really wanna share um, hotel rooms that like I personally have booked and that I really enjoyed, even if I didn't book it, book it. As long as I enjoyed it, I'd share it, but if I didn't enjoy it, I don't think there's a point to sharing it. My parents and I almost decided to just um, find our own hotel and stay somewhere else, but it was just out of conveniency. All the, um, everyone else in the summit was staying in the same hotel and everywhere that they needed to be was nearby. It was just out of convenience that we stayed, so that's why we stayed. But yeah, that's basically the reason I'm not sharing um, a hotel room tour, which I usually do. I just did not like this hotel room. Um, but very grateful that, you know, the summit was able to book it for us. That's fine. Um, in the next clip, I share everything I got at Michael's as well as any of the high street shops that I walked into or just stationary shops that I um, 
pass by. So don't mind me sitting on the bathroom floor doing this, but whatever. <laughs> um, it's the, where the light is at, basically. So the first shop I went to today was Papyrus, and it was the most gorgeous shop for gifts and stuff. So in here, I have the gifts that I'm giving one of my friends. It's her birthday and a housewarming present, etc. So I don't want to share that because... I mean, I don't think she actually watches my vlogs, lol. <laughs> but anyway, I just wanna share it. Um, so these are what the wine glasses look like. I got her a totally different one. Hers has a complete different theme, but um, these ones have fish on it. I thought it was so cute. I love these wine glasses. They look like they're like, yeah, they're hand painted on. Um, so I got two of the fishy ones and I want to get two mermaid ones, but there was only the one. So I'm really upset. Um, well, I'm not really upset, it's fine, but I would have liked to have four. And in the same shop, they had some really pretty canvases with motivational stuff, and I really like this one. It says, wrinkles merely indicate where smiles have been, um, Mark Twain, and I just really liked it. So um, I know exactly where I'm going to put this when I get home. And then I went to Michael's and I got some Halloween decoration or slash fall. So I'll probably put these out um, earlier because it's fall and I really like it. I just like how these look like little fairy houses. So I might find some like little fairies. I think I'll put these two in the bathroom though, just because I think they look better there um, with the fairies or whatever. Just because I feel like in my living space, I want something a little bit more, you know, grown up. <laughs> but I like these, not that these aren't grown up guys. So every year I actually host a Halloween night at mine. It's never actually on Halloween. It's usually like the day before or even the day before that. But um, yeah, it's, it's just like a cute little scary movie night with friends. We dress up, we have a good time, we eat and we take cute pictures, etc. So I bought some things for the, um, for the night. I'm not gonna share what theme it is, but yeah, he, here are the, some of the things I bought for it. These are like little baggies for popcorn. I thought it was really cute. And then these are cupcake toppers, it's like axes, and then bits of fingers that will look really good on cupcakes. I got some decorative things, which I'm really excited to do. I love crafts. And then a rest in peace thing that I'm gonna actually stick in one of my plants, which I think would be really good. I might put Michael Jackson on it, I think so. And then the last two items are these little guys. I got them at like a um, souvenir shop here. Um, I am that girl that will always buy a souvenir when I travel. And I just thought these were really cute because they look like nutcrackers. I actually thought they were nutcrackers at first, but they're not obviously. Um, but these looked like Christmas themed, like this one obviously because of the Christmas tree. This could pull off as a Christmassy kind of well, at least the color is right. I know this is like a policeman outfit or something, or some sort of, yeah, some sort of important person outfit. I'm not sure, but um, yeah, I definitely think these are super cute and I'm gonna put these out for Christmas time. I like collecting like holiday um, decorations from wherever I travel. I think it's more fun and unique when you display them because then it reminds you of traveling as well. So that's why I got these. Hey guys, I also obviously got maple syrup, but we don't need to see maple syrup, do we? <laughs> so it's currently around 6 a.m. at the moment, and I'm exhausted, not 6 a.m., sorry, 6.30. I woke up at 6, and I quickly got ready, and I'm currently just about to head out. I'm gonna meet my mom. Um, I might just go upstairs, I'm a little bit early. They're, my parents' room are upstairs, so I'll just meet her there, and then we're gonna head off to the seaplanes, and I'm so pumped. Actually, let me do a quick outfit of the day, although you can't really see the outfit. Um, I'm wearing my white Topshop shirt that I got um, for my last haul. I'm wearing my new leather jacket my dad brought me. I'm wearing my good American jeans, black jeans. Um, my usual Dior booties and then a Fendi bag. Oh, and my hat I got last year. I can't remember where I got it from, probably Zara. Um, I did my makeup in a rush today, so um, this is what happened when you like try to make things even just like the line Just keeps getting bigger and thicker <laughs> Anyway, I really could not care less right now. Um, I'm fine
Okay, so I'm officially worried about the vlog. Basically, I just realized that yesterday was like the only day that we actually really did something like out of the ordinary. Um, generally, I don't know if you've seen my um, if you've seen my vlogs, you'd know that generally when I travel, I fill my day up with like experiences and um, doing lots of different things. Basically, I generally don't travel to shop. I obviously will shop when you know. I pass something and I want to go in, sure, but I generally plan to like do things when I travel. But things are a little bit different when I travel with my family, um, which is totally fine. I honestly like, plus, like, the only other thing I really, really want to do in Vancouver is to go to Stanley Park and explore it, but the weather is so gross today. So basically, today I want to go, and that would have been more footage of Canada or Vancouver, and I would have been happy with the vlog, but because I'm not going to the park today, I'm like, ooh, the only kind of experience that I did in Vancouver was yesterday um I know I vlogged a lot of like you know just walking around streets and like a little bit in shops and stuff but yeah usually when I travel with my parents um especially my mom it's generally quite a shopping heavy trip um my mom she is based in Vietnam so shopping there isn't great unfortunately so when she travels she travels to shop basically um obviously to have a wander and to eat good food and stuff like that don't get us wrong like we do like to get cultured but she's not big on like you know waking up early and like going out to like find something cool to do like skydive hot air balloon like you know that kind of stuff like i say skydive i would love to skydive i don't think i'd be ready right now but like you know i mean like you know she's more that take it easy chill in the hotel room when you feel like going out we'll go out kind of thing whereas me if i go somewhere new especially like if it's somewhere like i've been too many times and yeah i'm pretty chilled but if it's somewhere new i'm generally like okay so today i want to go see the whales and tomorrow i want to go see this and then the next day i want to go to that park and you know what i mean i want don't get me wrong i'm not complaining i totally don't mind um traveling the way my parents do um i basically invited myself on this trip with my parents so it's whatever they want to do i honestly don't mind i'm so grateful to be here i'm so grateful for yesterday's experience and i'm so grateful for their shopping don't get me wrong I'm very grateful um equally as fun for me but i don't think as fun for the vlog is what i'm trying to say um but i'm still gonna try and salvage it see what um see what i can do with it okay so before i pack i thought i would just quickly share what i got at sephora today um because we went shopping this morning we went for lunch and then it was pouring rain so we just walked around in the mall and shopped um wait because like i said i wanted to go to the park this afternoon but yeah it's not happening which is really upsetting so i only got four items at sephora but um yeah these are the things that i really needed so a beauty blender i didn't actually need this i just always buy it when i'm at a sephora because or just anywhere with a beauty blender because i use these so much um obviously i wash them and stuff but i just generally like to get new ones and replace them and the second thing is this little guy and i've been wanting something like this for ages essentially this is just a little container for your beauty blender um i really like that idea because obviously you want to keep that as clean as possible um because that's what's going all over the face since i travel so much this is going to come in so handy um, to keep my beauty blender in. The next item is the um, Kat Von D Lolita Number no. 2 Liquid Lip. Um, the only reason I got this was because I had been wanting it, but just kind of lazy whenever I passed it because it's just like one item. I don't know about you guys, but whenever I need to just like buy one thing, I'm generally not bothered until, I mean like a small item, you know what I mean? I'm generally not bothered until like I accumulate a couple things that I need and I'll go back and like do everything at once instead of just like buying one. I don't know. That's just how I am. And then the last thing I got was this Sephora Pro, um, pigment palette this was in the warm sh uh, in the warm shades I guess so this is what the shades look like um, there's the colors I am especially excited for um, these ones here I love I love that that's almost a little bit like a green tone gold um, there's a bit of green in that in my opinion I'm not sure but I think there is a bit of green in that I just I'm really on a hunt for like a really beautiful like lime green goldy eyeshadow color um, anyway, I just saw this palette. I thought it was really beautiful and I just wanted to, um, get it for my eyeshadow collection. Okay, so actually it didn't take me very long to pack. Um, everything fits perfect. I mean, I still have my toiletries and my, um, makeup bag, but that will, I'll shove it in. It's fine. So I'm already back in London, but as I was unpacking, I came across this and I thought I would share it because I thought it was really, really cute. 
Um, usually when you take first class or first class suites, you always get like a little pouch filled with like toiletries and just stuff that you can use on the flight. Um, and every airlines has a different kind of um, package or whatever they usually give you pajamas as well But anyway, I want to share this because I think British Airways has the best um, Little pouch thing. It's by Liberty and Yeah, it says Liberty London exclusive for first and I just really think this is really pretty I mean, it's prettier than the Singapore sorry my phone. It's prettier than the Singapore Airlines and the cafe um, as I've been on those first class as well and their pouches are not nearly as nice as this I rarely take these off the flights just because I don't know it's kind of useless But um, this was too pretty to leave behind and yeah, I took both of them actually going to Canada and coming back from Canada um, So I think I'm gonna give one to a friend as like an add-on present to her actual birthday present because I think she'd appreciate it But yeah, isn't it pretty? I mean I can share what's inside one sec Right, so I actually haven't looked inside myself um, and this is everything that comes with it. All of them always comes with um, toothbrush and toothpaste. Um, what is this? Cotton pads and a pen, a hairbrush, one of those foldable hairbrushes. Um, what is this one? This is a hydrating triple rose renewing moisturizer. It's by Arom Aromatherapy, which is really nice. I love that brand. So that's actually really, really nice. Um, hydrating orange flower hand lotion um, this is a deodorant this is a lip balm I believe yeah it's a lip balm I actually will try this one if it's aromatherapy that must be so nice and then um, and then the rose cleanser which is also nice um, got some earplugs which I never use um, and then a mask an eye mask how does this open up? Did I just break it? No, I didn't. <laughs> An eye mask, which I also never use, so I'm probably gonna get rid of that. And are these socks? I'm not sure what this is. Oh yeah, they are socks. Um, yeah, which I probably will not use either. So I think out of everything inside, the only thing I'll really use is the lip balm. I wanna try that out, but the pouch is why I took it. <laughs> so pretty. I can use it for other things now. I'm going to end the vlog here, I think, because I don't know if we're gonna be getting up too much tomorrow. Maybe we might go to Chinatown. I know Vancouver has the biggest Chinatown in the world, um, but it just depends on weather, really. Um, but yeah, I think I'm gonna end the vlog here. I think there's enough to put together. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. I really hope it's interesting. I'm sorry if it's not, that it's not filled enough with like cool, um, you know, experiences and adventures, but this is just what I got up to when I was in Vancouver and the main point was actually to spend time with my parents um, or my mom really, because my dad was busy with work, but with my mom. <laughs> um, so yeah, I just, I, I had a really good time hanging out with my mom. I had a good time walking around Vancouver and seeing a new city and yeah, I'm happy that I finally made it to Canada. It's my first time here, like I said, I don't know if I mentioned it before, but it's my first time in Canada and I definitely want to explore more of it. Um, in the future. Anyways, I am starving, so I'm gonna head up to my mom's uh, room and order some food and chill with her, and pretty much that's it. So yeah, I'll see you guys back in London. Bye!